Hi guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna go ahead and address my voice situation. I am dealing with some very bad allergies and um, I sound worse than I feel. Like I sound really, really, really bad, but I feel fine. So I'm so sorry if that annoys you guys, this video, sadly, there's nothing I could do about it. I wish that there was a cure, but, but I can't fix my voice right now. So anyways, for today's video, I have a long overdue favorites video for you guys. I've got beauty and I've got some accessories and some fashion. To be honest, there's a lot of items that I could include in this video, but the video would be so, so long. So these are just like my top picks, at least for this past month. Yeah. I'll have all these items linked in the description box if you guys want to check them out. And without further ado, let's get into the video. So starting off, my first favorite that I'm going to talk about is jewelry, specifically from Ana Luisa. So thank you so much to Ana Luisa for partnering with me on this video. I love working with them because I genuinely love their products and their company and just the whole brand and what they stand for. So I'll have a link in the description box if you guys want to check them out. They're currently doing a Mother's Day sale, which is going to be buy one, get one at 40% off. So you can get one for your mom and then one for yourself and y'all can like match. That's personally what I did for my mother. Um, I haven't given it to her yet, but I already got it. So yeah, it's a really great sale. I'll have a link in the description if you guys want to check them out. I'm obsessed with their jewelry. My first two holes are Ana Luisa earrings that I wear every day. I'm currently wearing a little chain bracelet. And yeah, I'm literally obsessed with them. I wear them every day. Uh, it's 14 karat gold plated, which I love because I can wear it in the shower and I don't have to worry about it like tarnishing or anything like personally. But I have a few pieces that I want to talk to you guys about that have been my favorites recently. Starting off with the two on my neck. I'm gonna try and zoom you guys in, but they are stunning. So I have this little herringbone necklace. It is so gorgeous. I'll have the names like on the screen and everything. And then I have this little tiny like chain one. So dainty, so cute. And they actually look so good together and I didn't like plan to wear them together, but they look so, so good. And then I also have this cute little dainty gold little ring with like a clear little gemstone in the middle kind of looks like a diamond but obviously it's not but so cute i got this in a size six i don't know which finger i'm gonna put it on yet just because i don't have my other rings on at the moment but i'm literally obsessed with these two necklaces and this ring at the moment so i'll have a link in the description if you guys want to check them out their pieces are so unique so stunning and i think that it would be an amazing and thoughtful gift to give your mother for this mother's day they have so many new collections out so make sure you guys check that out and alisa crafts high quality jewelry pieces at very affordable prices they're carbon neutral from packaging to their products they care about their impact on the planet so yes i highly recommend checking them out and make sure you leave a comment letting me know which piece is your favorite thank you again to Ana Luisa for partnering with me on this video and let's get into the rest of my favorites i'm not gonna lie my nose is kind of running right now it's a bad situation okay starting off we're gonna go ahead and get the makeup out of the way let's do that I actually don't have any hair favorites which is I mean can you see I'm trying really hard with my hair recently so I guess it makes sense that was sarcasm I'm not trying hard with my hair anyways starting off with makeup I have four products so I have two Charlotte Tilbury products both of them are kind of like skin prep I guess the first one is the Charlotte Tilbury magic cream Guys, I put this on right before I do my makeup and it gives me the best palette. Like, I don't know, my skin just feels and looks so hydrated and my makeup glides on seamlessly. And yeah, I think before this I was using the Wonder Glow Primer from Charlotte Tilbury, but I like this one a little bit more since my skin is a little bit drier, especially in the colder months. So maybe in the summer I'll switch back to the Wonder Glow. But right now I love this so much. You can use it as a moisturizer. I personally use it as like a moisturizer and a primer on days that I'm doing my makeup and I love it. It's so freaking good. So next up, I have the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter in the shade 5 Tan. This stuff has lasted me so, so long. All the words have like came off the packaging, but I have this in like several different like shades in like in the travel size just because I'm like scared to run out of this, but 
I usually will mix this in with my airbrush flawless foundation from Charlotte Tilbury when I'm like going out or have like a special occasion. But as far as like an everyday basis goes, I will usually just use this like alone and then throw some concealer on it and then carry on. Uh, I don't think this is supposed to be like a foundation. It's kind of like a primer, uh, but you can also like mix it in with your foundation. However, I use it as a foundation some days and I love the way that it looks. Um, you do need to be careful because sometimes it can like look like too glowy, but love it so much. So this one I'm pretty sure has been in like an old favorites video of mine, but I recently rediscovered it and I'm so glad that I did. It's the Benefit Cookie Highlighter and I remember that this was actually released in a palette. I think it was like the Benefit Cheek Leader palette years ago, like probably two or three years ago. And people loved it so much that they actually came out with it in a single. And so I've like forgotten about it. I don't even know if I can get my finger in here because my nose. I'll do my knuckle. It's just like so stunning. Look at that. Yeah, I've forgotten about it over the years. And then the other day I was bored and wanted to try a new highlighter and I found this one. And haven't put it down since. So definitely recommend. It's just like a gorgeous. It's like the perfect shade for a highlighter too. It's not too gold, but it's also not too silvery. I would probably say it's like a platinum or like a champagne. Love it. Last makeup favorite. This is an oldie. Let me tell you, like literally one of my favorites from years ago that I recently rediscovered. I used to use this, I think last year I started using this again, like last year on this time. And then I forgot about it. And then I recently was like, oh my gosh, I miss wearing this and pulled it back out of my drawer and I love it. So this is the Kylie lip kit. Uh, well, the Kylie matte liquid lipstick. Um, this one's in the shade Posey K. I actually prefer Coco K but I don't know where it's at. I think it's in my purse, but this stuff, let me tell you, this stuff will literally last on your lips forever. So let me give you a scenario or an example. I put this on at like three o'clock one day and cause I had to film and then I was going out that night. I stayed over at my friend's house, didn't take my makeup off and it was still on the next morning through eating, through drinking, through sleeping, still on. So if that doesn't persuade you guys to buy this, I don't know what will, but I don't know if she still makes this. I hope she does. I think she does. I honestly need more shades because I only have two and I'm obsessed. Like it's literally all I wear on my lips nowadays. Like I feel like if I do lip liner and then like a lip gloss, it just ends up getting like messy and doesn't like stay quite as good. So I'm going back to my roots and I start using this again. Okay. Now for skincare, I have three items and then we'll move on to fashion. I don't know, I'm kind of upset I didn't put anything for hair care in here, but I don't, I genuinely don't have any hair care favorites. I know I just did a Sephora haul and got a bunch of new hair care products, but to be honest with you guys, I haven't been using them enough to recommend them. So I'll do another one next month. This might be my favorite favorite in this video. Um, and you're probably thinking, uh, this is a brand new perfume. How can you talk about this? It's because I just got it in the mail today because I ran through my old bottle already because I love it so much. I don't think I've ever, I genuinely don't think I've ever gone through a whole perfume because I have so many and I am like a religious perfume switcher. Like I just switch my perfumes and switch my fragrances every day. So let me just say, you don't need Baccarat Rouge to smell freaking good. I have Baccarat Rouge and I love it, but I've gotten more compliments on this than I have that and it's way cheaper. So I think this is like the biggest size you can get. So it was a little expensive, but I bought it during the sale. But this is the Valentino Donna Born in Roma perfume. I think I bought the small size like last year during this time and, or maybe like six months ago. I can't remember, but I'm obsessed with it. So for the past like two weeks, I've been wearing it. And literally one day I remember getting three compliments. One person in the elevator, one in the store, and then one when I was getting my hair done, like all in the same day. And it was guys and girls. So you need to go buy this. I don't even know how to describe the scent to you guys. I'm so bad with this, but I need to find out if Dossier makes a version of this because I need to try it out for you guys. Uh, Yeah, I don't know the notes, but all I gotta say, I can't really smell because my nose is so stopped up, but it smells really good, okay? And like, I didn't even put that much on that day that I got all these compliments, so. Definitely recommend this. It is a must have, especially for the spring and summer. It's so like feminine. And one of the compliments that I got was that it smelled really good and like in it, I can't remember what she said. She was like, it goes really well with your natural scent. And I was like, oh my gosh. So it's my new favorite. Next up, oh my God. I feel like this is like such like, I don't know. This is like a video about old favorites that I've fallen back in love with. Cause 
That's why I showed a tile of this because this is another one of my old favorites that I've been using for years on and off and I miss so much. This is the Sol de Janeiro Bum Bum Cream. I feel like it's so basic saying this because I feel like everybody and their mother has this or has heard about it. But again, something that I've gotten compliments on recently saying that I smell good and it's because of this and it just leaves such a good like natural sheen and like finish on your body. I use the matching scrub and body wash and then this. And like I just smell so good and literally like wake up the next day and still smell good and like can still feel it And I love it so so much. I actually should have repurchased another one But yeah, I actually just picked up the newest scent at the sale But I haven't tried that i'm gonna be honest with you guys because this one just takes the cake for me I'm forever obsessed with it and i'm so glad that I rediscovered it again because yeah, I actually need to put some on like after I film this video because I didn't put any on today, but I've been using it every day. Last skincare favorite. I actually almost forgot about this and I'm really glad that I remembered to mention this. These are the Hero Cosmetics Mighty Patches. Let me just say, I have tried several different brands of pimple patches and I've even tried Peter Thomas Roth and those were freaking expensive. These are amazing they have never let me know i hardly ever break out anymore but if i do it's a hormonal pimple which are the worst because they're under the skin and they don't have a head they're just like red and ugly and inflamed so what i do is i'll put one of these on and go to bed and wake up the next morning and it actually has a head and then i'll pop it and it's disgusting so yeah and it's also good like if you pop a pimple you can put this on and it'll help the healing process the stuff that comes out of this is insane like it is kind of gross but satisfying at the same time i got these off of amazon so yeah okay you guys now for fashion favorites i have three i have two bras and a pair of jeans so this first bra is from lululemon it is the flow y bra for a to c cups and this one's actually in vivid plum but i have literally like seven colors and i just discovered this like two weeks ago but they're the new Lou fabric so they're just like the aligned leggings Literally, it's so freaking flattering. Like, oh my gosh, I wear these like to run errands in with like leggings and like a jacket over it or I'll wear them to go to sleep in. They are so comfortable, literally so flattering. And oh, just, I can't, you need to go buy these. I literally have Electric Lemon, Love Red, Vivid Plum, Orange Soda, I think that's it, but I need more. I need to get like black and white too, but I just love the fun colors that they have. Like, they're so cute. I have like all the matching leggings for them too, so. I mentioned that in my latest Lululemon haul, so I'll have that link down below if you guys wanna check it out and see it on, because I tried it on for you guys. Another bra from Lululemon, this is the Ebb to Street bra. I think this is for C to D cups. Um, yeah, I've known about these for like a year, but again, just recently fell in love with them again. This is in the shade Raspberry Cream, it's stunning, but I have so many different colors. Um, again, I tried this on in my recent Lululemon haul. I was actually wearing it. But it's so cute. It actually has a racer back, like, strap situation in the back here that you can undo. And it adjusts and everything. This one doesn't adjust, but I think they have an option on the website if you do need one that adjusts. I get this in a size 6 and this in a size 4. I'm obsessed. This one's a little bit longer, so you can definitely get away with it being, like, a crop top in the spring and summer. And it's so flattering. Like, it makes my boobs look so good. But... Yeah, you need those. Last fashion favorite and favorite of this video has been a favorite of mine for months, literally since December. Every time that I go out, I wear these jeans and it's become a problem because I have, I'm literally looking at five pair, six pairs of jeans, all my clothing rack, not even in my closet, in my clothing rack right now that I could be wearing, but I always go back to these. So these are the a Goldie Riley high rise straight leg jean crop or something. These are in the shade Shatter. I will say that I've tried different shades in the same style from a Goldie and they fit different. These are just the best fitting on me. They're 24. They fit amazing in the waist, amazing throughout the legs. They're super flattering. They make it look like I have a butt when I really don't. So yeah, and they've got like a little distressing. I'm obsessed. Like I'm gonna try and throw up some pictures of me wearing these, but they are just, they go with everything. And they're so comfortable so flattering i've washed them probably a hundred times and they just get better and better so i'll have them linked down below i got them from aritzia actually on sale but i'll try and find them on revolve for you guys because i know revolve still has them so 
yeah all right guys that is it for today's favorites video i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did give it a thumbs up subscribe click that bell upload every sunday and wednesday don't forget to follow me on all my social medias, which are on the screen. And also listed and linked in the description box below. Don't forget to check out Anna Luisa's website. I'll have a link in the description box. It'll be the first link that you guys see. So you can click on it. Check out their website. Check out the jewelry pieces that I got. And make sure you guys also check out their new collections and their Mother's Day sale. Buy one, get one 40% off. That is such a great deal for you and your mom. Let me know what products I should try next if I'm missing out on something. But yeah, I love you guys, and I'll hopefully see you very soon in my next one. Bye, guys.